ever. No. Caught Christian. That was a big wicket, wasn't it? Yeah. Because he was playing pretty well. He smoked it through the tournament. Could be out straight down. Oh, yeah, so I can't remember that now. Pretty cool. I misjudged it and then stuck up the massive paw. But in this game, they had Butler and Apollo down the order, didn't they? Yeah. Very dangerous too. Has that been taken? We've seen some good that is they, they were in a great position to Christian kick on. Special he got important wickets, important times. Keyswetter had gone eight. a bit slow, and then he he pressed he the button at the end. But this is when that there is a, that that over that Corky bowled at the end, up. and he went for two or three. Yeah, well he hit Pollard, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, so getting Butler out. Up so this is the over, they got, but, got Butler out yeah. and then hit Polly and those two out, it could have been quite of a different chase if they'd, yeah. um, if they'd have stayed in. Here you are Jimmy, Someone having a hack. blistering start. I remember Razak at the other end when Alfonso was bowling saying, over backward point, one back don't worry, you know, just play this guy out yeah. and then Fonz came off. I think Ben Phillips came back on at the other end and he said, now we go. And he just pressed the button and he took him for 16 or so in the over and smoked him. There's the first one. I remember having a slow start. Yeah. He just gave himself a chance. What did you guys put on? About 50 odd, didn't you? Yeah. Thought I'd hit that straight up in the air. And some out caught a thermal. Shot. It's a good series, that, Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah, from memories. Mm. He had carbs going in down the order in those days. Yeah. That was before he opened, right? I think a Freedy came in down that spot. Yeah. This is the over. This is the over he takes. He takes to Phillips and he just smears him. It's a great shot. Really well, he got us back on track because we had we had just sort of started to. We took. I think we ended up with the rape sort of back in our favour. Mm. Down the ground, stayed deep in his crease. It's four, dead straight. It was only in the last couple of games that he asked to go up top, wasn't it? Yeah. And then and we all got out, and I'm quite happy he's missed. Our, like Vincey and I had a little pickle there and got sent Vincey wide. back, and he got run out. But this partnership was the one that put us in a winning position, wasn't it? These two played brilliantly. Yeah, these two were very calm. And then it all went a bit pear-shaped towards the end. Shot, yeah. slow. Yeah, yeah so pretty calm at this stage. We thought, right, we're, yeah. in, we're in a great position. I mean, you got two of the best finishers in the game batting. And you're thinking we're still under control. Nobody moves again. And Mac had done it in the first game as well, hadn't he? The yeah. And then Phillips came. Phillips had gone, had hadn't had the run of it for the whole game, and he came back on and he, he just yes. shot from Mac. Oh, yes. What? Bosh. Oh, that's right. We're actually ahead, and then he brings Phillips on and throws the dice offsides, all the offsides up, and he tries to whack him over the covers. Sixteen or fourteen with these two in, and we get yeah. to where we get to. Oh, no. Tried to slap it over cover, didn't he? Yeah. In the air, catch up there, take him. Mm. And then you just mm. have that little doubt in the back of your mind. Yeah. High in the air. Who wants but even now, you think everything's okay. Keeper, mm. takes the catch. Because Slug, I reckon Slug gets dropped here as well. Drops, gets one. dropped in the last over by Compton, and then Compton does that amazing bit fielding because you think it's four game over. In fact, all the lads would run on pitch at that point. Yeah. And then <laughs> this, is, this is just comical, isn't it? This last bit. This, there he is. Right, Jimmy going. Sending on your quickest man. I'm not quite sure why I'm going on. He's got everything under control. He was so wet as well. Not just the dew and the rain that had been in the day. And then he said, how it'll be. Sliding <laughs> down. <laughs> but he could be run out now, Dan. And some of us haven't quite understood that. And normally he knows he's won, do they? 
See, yeah, so I've got a theory about this. Yeah, we've seen this so many times. Watch I Benny. reckon, I know, he just Watch Benny. He doesn't know what to do. And then the fireworks go and it's yeah. done. That's the only time we knew we'd actually won. Yeah. Boys. But I reckon, like, because it was a close LB, they were watching the umpire, seeing if he's give it, giving the LB, and the ball's run down through third man, and they've not really noticed that Dan's gone. And the umpires are stood there waiting. Okay, what, 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 why are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? And then, no, game over. It's the Hampshire win on a Tannoy and yeah. celebrations. Long time ago, that, chaps. But we sort of remembered it pretty, pretty well.